Today's Utah divorce video is about redacting certain kinds of information from your financial declaration. What is redacting? Redacting is the process of blackening or whitening out parts of text or images from an original document. What is a financial declaration? It's a document that you and your spouse are required to exchange when you engage in a divorce action. A financial declaration is a document that contains a detailed statement of your income assets, debts, and expenses, along with the documents that verify these things. So before we begin, remember this. Before you start to redact your original documents, make a complete copy and redact your copies. Don't ever redact your originals because once you black out text and images from an original, it's going to stay that way. You may need to or be asked to produce your unredacted originals in the future, and you don't want to be at a loss or be accused of removing something to conceal or deceive. So, why would you need to make a detailed disclosure of your income, assets, debts, and expenses, and then be taught to redact certain kinds of information from it? That's a good question. Well, you can redact whatever you want from your financial declaration, um, it, as long as it goes along with the court guidelines. So, can you redact anything you want? No. Court rules require you to redact and only redact certain information that the rules define as non-public information. So when it comes to redacting non-public information from your financial declaration and its supporting documents, you're required to redact all but the last four digits of certain account and identification numbers. Your social security number is classified as non-public information, so you can remove all but the last four digits. So if your social security number was 123, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you would only leave the six, seven, eight, nine. If your driver's license number shows up on your financial declaration documents, you need to redact all but the last four numbers of it. Same goes for your bank and credit union account numbers, investment account numbers, your retirement account numbers, and all but the initials of minor children. So if you have a son or daughter or both, and for this example, your son is named Billy, your daughter is named Susan, with the same last name as you, then you'd only leave Bdo or Esto in regards to their names. So you can redact in different ways, by redacting the hard copy, and then scanning those documents into PDF format, or by scanning the documents into PDF format, and then redacting the PDF. Redacting hard copies, the old-fashioned way, is still an effective way to do so, um, but you take your hard copies, so you take your physically printed out paperwork, and you would redact it with a, a Sharpie or a marker. You want to use an indelible marker. Um, Sharpies work just fine. Indelible just means that you can't see anything that you cross out um, with that marker. It would blot it completely out. Um, make sure you use a thick piece of cardboard underneath each page that you blot out so that you don't bleed onto the next page when you're redacting also. And then uh, when you take your redacted document, you can just simply scan it, save it as a PDF, and then make sure that when you save a copy of your digital redacting um, document, say your PDF, you're gonna name that, just put non-public info redacted at the end of the file name. That way you'll know that it's the redacted version and not your original document. So one of the advantages of redacting on the computer is that you don't have to make a hard copy of all the originals. Instead, you just scan your originals into a PDF format and then redact the PDF file. So let me show you how that's done doing some redacting on the computer. Okay, so what we're going to do, I've got some example PDFs here, and they're obviously they're fake tax documents, fake bank statements, etc. So none of this information I'm about to show you is actually real. No one's privacy is being infringed or um, blasted out to the internet, so no worries there. These are fake documents, but you'll get the idea when I show you how to redact them. So first thing we're going to do, the documents are here in this folder, original documents, and then I made another folder called non-public info redacted financial declaration documents. So we'll know which ones are which. So first thing we're going to do, just grab these. You can drag them in there, but if you drag them, sometimes they'll move depending on what operating system you have. So just select them all and do copy. Then go to the other folder and do paste. 
So now I've got a, an exact duplicate of those files in that separate folder. And I'll go ahead and name them right now, even though they're not actually redacted yet. Non-public info redacted is what we'll put at the end of the file, like I said earlier. I'm going to go ahead and just select the text. If you really want to be technical, lowercase p for public. I'm going to select the space just before the hyphen and everything afterwards, so I can just paste that into the rest of the file names here. And that's that. Now we know those are our redacted copies, even though we haven't redacted them yet. So I'll close out the originals, so we're only working in this folder. And I'm going to go here to the search and just type PDF Exchange. I've already got it installed on the computer. You can download it. It's fairly cheap. It's a really good PDF editor, and um, that way when you're trying to redact your own documents, you can, you can save yourself some expenses. Let me go ahead and open that up. I'll show you how to I'm just going to drag those in there. So select those, drag and drop them in there. It's going to open them all up. Okay, so first you're going to take your original document and you're going to put it in your scanner. Go ahead and scan that, turn it into a digital document. When you have your original digital documents, then you can simply make a copy of those. So I've got a, another folder called Non-Public Info Redacted Financial Declaration Documents. So we're going to select all of these, we're going to make a copy, I'm going to paste them into this other folder so that I'm therefore not working on my original documents that I've scanned in. And I won't, basically I won't have any issue if anybody ever wants to see the original documents. If they think that I was trying to conceal something, I can obviously just send over my original documents. So what we'll do is we'll do space, hyphen space, non-public info redacted on the end of the file names here. I'm going to just select that text and the spaces and do control C on my keyboard so I can just simply click once and then click twice to be able to rename the end of the file and then I just do control V and it'll paste the rest of that on there. So that's the quickest way to just name a bunch of files the same give it that non-public info redacted name at the end of the file name so you know these are your redacted copies. So once you've got them in there like that then you can go ahead and open up PDF Exchange Editor and that's the editor that um, I prefer to use because it's it's inexpensive to buy, it's easy to learn how to use and I'll show you how to redact some of these documents. So I'm going to just drag those documents in there rather than go to file and open and all of that. I'm just going to drag all of those in. And it's not going to actually move those. It's just going to open them up in PDF Exchange Editor. I'll open that up here. And so what you want to do, if you hold down the control button on your keyboard and then use your mouse wheel, you can zoom in to be able to see better. And these are, these are actually images that I converted into PDF. But for you, you're going to scan your document and it's going to turn it into a PDF. Um, what you'll want to do, you can take the pencil. There's also another tool that you can, you can highlight the text and then click Redact. And that works just as well. Um, but for this example, I'm going to show you the pencil. You can change the point, the size. So that's why I like using the pencil. You can change the size and you can kind of control better what you're redacting so it looks nice and clean. And I've got white as the color selected, so it just kind of wipes it out instead of leaving a big black line. I think it looks a little cleaner that way. So there we would do, that's what, that says Social Security, your Social Security number right there. And I left all the, the, all but the last four. So that's a fake Social Security number, and I left the last four zeros. So that one's basically done, and you can just close that. Say yes, you want to save the change. That one's done. So for example, here's a bank statement. You see these account numbers right here. Go ahead, do the same thing. Redact and leave all but the last four. You're gonna leave all but the last four on both of those account numbers. Control Z will let you undo what you did. So let's say you did a big oops and you just wiped out a big chunk of your document. Oh no, 
what do I do? Well, Control Z is undo. And that makes it so that you can start over. And it'll only do the last move that you made. So if I did Control Z again, it would bring back that other account number. So that's important to know. So if I wipe that part out, leave the last four of that, that's actually redacted, and that's all that needs to be redacted on this page. You want to make sure you look them over really close so that you don't leave anything. Then you can just click the X to close it, say yes. Now that one's been redacted. I'll zoom in on this one. Looks like the only thing we need to redact on this one is this account number right here. So we can leave all but the last four on it. Go ahead and redact that. And that is how you redact using a, an editor, a PDF editor. Using the PDF editor really gives you quite a bit of control. It's a lot easier than trying to use an actual marker on a physical document, in my opinion, because you're not you're not limited to you know one one attempt to to like wipe out that line. When you're doing it by hand on an actual physical document, you do it once, you make a mess up, and it looks horrible. Then you got to print it and start all over. And these examples are very short. They're one page. Um, a lot of times when you're redacting, your tax documents can be 10, 20, 30, 40 pages long. So it can be quite time consuming. Well, there are two different ways that you can redact non-public information from your financial declaration supporting documents. But even if after watching this video, you would prefer to have an attorney or law firm redact your documents for you, most are more than happy to do that. But they'll have to charge you extra money for the extra work and the extra time that it will take to redact those documents for you. We charge a dollar per page so you can see that the savings add up quite quickly if you redact your documents yourself. Here's a link to more information about redacting from the Utah Courts website. Thanks for watching and if you have any questions for me please give me a call or send me an email or message me on Facebook. Again, thanks for watching Utah Family Law TV. If you like these videos, please subscribe, share, and tell your friends.